Now, in this question regarding stairs, what you're looking for is you're looking for the rise, the going, and the number of steps. What you're told in the question is the distance between the floors is 2,660. Now, that's the distance from, for instance, your ground floor to your first floor. Okay. So, what we have to calculate is the rise, the going, and the number of steps. Now, there's a couple bits of information that we know already. Now, the max number of steps is 16. The max rise is 220. So it can't be any greater than that. And then the minimum going is also 220. And then the final piece of information that we kn know is the formula for stairs. So the formula for stairs that it must comply with is twice the rise plus the going is equal to 550 to 700. So when we put in our answers and we put it into this formula, it must fit in within this range here. Now, to start off this question, we look at the first measurement we're given. 2,660. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to divide it by, for instance, 16. Now, when we divide it by 16, the answer we're going to get is the number of the number of the rise of each of them 16 steps because that's the most steps you can have so if we put it into our calculator go 2, 6, oh, divide this by 16 the answer we're getting is 166.25 so that's a quarter of a mil now first of all it's within the height range for each of your steps but the problem with it is it's coming in a decimal point so if we write this down so it's 166.25 mils now what we might do is we'll go to <coughs> we'll go to 50 steps so we'll have less steps to climb so if we divide our 2660 by 15 and look at what answer we get then. So the answer we're getting there is one point. So if I write down here, 15 divided into our 2660, the answer we're getting is 177.333 reoccurring. Now again, quite difficult to cut a piece of timber into a third of a mil. So into the calculator we'll do then we'll go 14 and the answer we'll get for that is 190 nils exactly so this is looking like a measurement that we could use now what we might do is we might continue on and then maybe put in 2600 and divide it by 13 So if we divide it by 13, the measurement we're going to get is 204.615, okay? Now, if we go 12, now, when we look at the figure we get for 12, 12 is really the only one we definitely cannot use. And the reason we can't use 12 is because of the measurement it's working out to be. Right? It is greater than your 220. So this one here cannot be used. Now, 
if we look at that, so the range of figures that we've got here is each of these. Now, what this has answered is, it has answered two parts of the question. The two parts of the question it has answered is, it has answered the rise. So the rise now of our new stairs is going to be 190. So that's our rise. And then looking at the number of steps is 14. So that's how many steps we're going to have in the stairs. Now, what we're going to do now is for the going. The going, we're going to take a figure and write down a going of 250 mils. Now, where we're getting that figure is, that's an optimum going. Okay, for any stairs. Now, we're going to put this all into formula to make sure that going works with the rise that we're given. So, the formula then is twice the rise, which is 190, plus 250, is equal to 550 to 700. So, if we work that out, that's 380 plus 250. So we add these together then. And so the answer we're getting there is 630. That fits perfectly within our range of figures there. So we know that this 250 is correct. So that's going to be our going steps, correct, it's less than 16, and then the rise, 190. So that's less than your 220. So there are your answers, and that's your answer to the first part of that question. Now, the second part of the question then is to draw out the stairs using these measurements. So using a measurement of 190, using a going of 250. So if we look at the question again, so looking at this question now, the first part we've now done, so the steps must comply with the regulations of building regulations for domestic stairs. Next thing then is sketch to a suitable scale the vertical section through the bottom three steps of a closed string timber staircase, including your measurements, new post and handrail. Okay. So the final stage then is just to draw the stairs, the bottom three steps that we did the last day in class.